hasn't even been a week yet since I got home from my month in London, Paris. I literally just finished unpacking and had to do it all over again. Pack a bag for the weekend because I'm going to Napa Valley. And that is because my really close friend, which I've known since I was like 13, is getting married this summer and this weekend is going to be her bachelorette trip. It's going to be a party of 13. So the bride-to-be, her college friends, our really close friend group since middle school, high school. I'm going to be there, obviously. mini tour. This one is the master bedroom. There is bathroom number one. Another bedroom. There's this one. And then these two twin beds. And then over here is the guest house. Living room, a bed, a full kitchen. It's all just so beautiful. A little lower. Okay, okay. Unusual skills. He's like, hey, hey. Okay, we have to get ready by 10.30. Plans for today, we're gonna have breakfast inside and then we're gonna go to a, what's it called? A wine tour? <laughs> It has been a week since I have vlogged. Today's Friday, July 28th, and I am seeing Taylor Swift round two at the Ares tour tonight. Tammy is about to pick me up. We're heading over to Santa Clara. Honestly, this was not on my calendar. I was not planning on going to the Ares tour again because it's just so expensive. But Tammy is the luckiest person on the entire planet because she had gotten a verified fan text message last week letting her buy face value tickets. So we got $99 upper bowl tickets. I'm so excited right now. I just packed my stadium approved bag. I brought a sweatshirt because I learned my lesson from last time and I will be very cold. I'm bringing a small camera. This is the Canon G7X, which I got a couple months ago and I have been loving because it's just so tiny. A portable charger. There's lipstick in here, makeup, cards. And then I invested in these music earplugs because there's like 70,000 people screaming in the stadium and I only want to hear Taylor. <laughs>
home right where you are. a couple of gifted packages here so first and foremost thank you so much to these brands for sending these over it's always so exciting opening gifted packages first package is from cut and clarity one of my favorite jewelry brands based in new york the card says wear this with health and love We've got this beautiful chain necklace in silver and black rhodium. Every single time I get a package from Cut and Clarity, I am just amazed. This one is their 16 inch El Dobo chain. So gorgeous. I'm so excited to try this on. A second package is from House of Doa, which is a Korean skincare brand. Ooh, oh, this is a heavy package. SPF 50 sunscreen, a peach blossom overnight mask, white rice wash off mask, oh so many sheet masks, oh I'm so excited, and then a toner as well. From Merit I got a pick out lipstick. This one is actually a shade that I never typically go for. This one is in their shade 1990 which is a brown color. I'm switching things up. And then the next one is actually a restock. I've gone through like three of these already. This is their tinted lip oil in Marrakech. Thank you so much to Merit for restocking my makeup bag. Today's Saturday and there's nothing I wanted to do more than to just get out of the city, go on a day trip, drive down PCH. I'm about to meet up with my boyfriend so I just picked up breakfast for us. I got a bag of bagels. This place I went to has really good bagels but they don't assemble the bagels for you. So I also got a tub of cream cheese. I decided to be financially responsible this morning and not spend $6 on a coffee, so I made myself one at home. First stop of the day, my boyfriend is taking me to Monterey Bay Aquarium. I haven't been there since I was a kid, so I don't really remember anything, but I know that it's beautiful on the inside. It's the largest aquarium in California, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's one of the best aquariums in the entire country, but I will need to fact check that. Do it better Love someone 